Welcome to Final Cut Pro X. Um, this is the uh, amazing new software from Apple, the new version of Final Cut Pro. And I'm going to be giving you a general overview of the software and the basic workflow. And then in additional modules, I'm going to go into a lot more depth and really cover the ins and outs of, of organization and capturing and editing and, and doing effects and audio effects and everything. We're going to cover the extent of the program through this set of modules from MacProVideo.com. Uh, the, the first thing I'm going to tell you, though, is that if you have ever used Final Cut Pro in the past, if you've ever seen Final Cut Pro in the past, you need to forget everything that you know. And I'm not kidding, because this is a completely different piece of software. There is basically no resemblance. The keyboard shortcuts are all different. The, the workflows are all different. The, everything about it is completely different. The more you can let go of your preconceptions and your expectations of how you think it should work or how it used to work, the easier your life will be in terms of learning and adapting to this new software. And so just to begin, I'm going to talk very briefly about the way the interface works here. You've got these three main areas. Uh, you've got the over area over here, which is the event browser. And this is where you look at your, your raw footage. All of your footage is listed here in this view and you can see a little area on the top here. You can scrub through this. If you, uh, you can actually skim through it. We'll talk about what skimming is and how skimming works. Uh, you can, and that is your raw source footage. You can see that when you're looking at that footage, it plays right here in the viewer area. And that viewer area is going to play the source footage when you're working in the event browser. And when you switch to the timeline, it's going to play the content of that timeline. I'm going to turn off audio skimming here so you don't have to listen to all that noise as I'm moving around here. Timeline is what I would call a trackless timeline. And while there are uh, the, the perception of tracks, you can you know add items. Like I've got an item down here if I just zoom in on that here. See, here's one clip that's uh, sitting on top of the main track over here. But as you'll see as we get deeper into this, the concept of tracks is fundamentally different than it has been in previous versions of Final Cut Pro and, and really than in any other software that are, that's out there. It's a really brand new approach, and uh, it offers a lot of benefits and, and a few things that you have to get used to in the way things work very differently.